Hey guys, what's going on? Clay Zolt here, and I'm back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video, and I'm going to tell you guys I've recorded this video, I think, four times already. Something like that. Uh, this video is very hard for me because I want to make sure I get my point across, um, and I get it across clear, and I want everybody to know that what I'm trying to do here is help the community the best way I can because I know I hold a little bit of responsibility. I, I'm, I'm not saying I'm some big shot. I'm not saying I'm some famous person, but I, I as Uncle Ben would say, with great power comes great responsibility, and I want to make sure that I'm getting my point across very well. So the first thing I want to say is I love this game. I want this game to go up. I don't want this game to go down. That's very important for two reasons. One, I love the game and the community. You guys are amazing. You guys have spent money. I've spent a ton of money in the game. If the game goes down and doesn't, it like to, ceases to exist, all that money's gone. And two, it's my career. So of course I'm going to care about the game. You know what I mean? Like it's given me the ability to do my dream to stream and do YouTube stuff and, and play video games and interact with you guys. It's been a phenomenal thing. So everything I say about this isn't to shit on it, isn't to destroy Gumi, isn't to destroy Square Enix, isn't to destroy the community. It's to help and bring us all up together because I really do care that much. Over the past few months, I believe that FFBE has been somewhat of a downslope. The events haven't been as cool. The, uh, the banners are cool. And the three-star rainbow uh, increase was awesome. But then when the drop rates were released, they didn't do the drop rates the same as other games did. They gave us how what was our percentages for drawing a rainbow. And the reason that was important at 3% is now they can't fluctuate. I'm not saying that Gumi or Square Enix were doing anything like that. But if it, there was a chance that they could say it was something and without it being in writing, they could fluctuate it how they wanted to. But now we are protected as players because it has to be 3%. Because if it's ever found out that it's not 3%, they could get sued. So it's very important, but they didn't release, you know, what's your chances on pulling a Yoon, this upcoming banner, or a Ling, et cetera, et cetera, when other games do. So I thought that was kind of like a little bit of a letdown. And then every bundle that's come out recently has been like not value. Bundles in a game are supposed to be there, in my opinion, to reward you, the buyer, you, the player, for playing the game and also uh, for purchasing. You, you, you want to feel good. You want to feel like it's a gift. It's like, okay, there's some value here. I, I can spend a little bit of money. But they haven't been that way. They've all been really bad. They've, they, they've been the same bundle where it's like, oh, I, I pull this unit. Here's a bunch of a cactuar and awakening materials and maybe a, a ticket thrown in there, uh, which I always thought was bad. Like, I would buy them sometimes because I'm a whale, you know, and I needed it. But that's been bad. Um, and so when this five-star guaranteed banner was announced... I was one of the most excited people. I talked to my wife, Rachel. I was like, here we go. They're going to come out this gate, and they're going to take the player morale. They're going to boost it up. I'm going to be able to say, seeing to the, the, the high top hills that things are changing. We're working towards a great thing going on here. And I did not cover the news in a video because I was like, I'm going to wait and see what the price is. And then I'm going to come in and tell you guys my opinion on it. And if you hear my dog in the background, I'm sorry. He loves to bark. We're working on that, all right? So, um, so I did a stream. I streamed from 11... Uh, 11 at night or 10.30 at night, all the way up until the release of this, which was 3 a.m. my time. And I was so excited. We were building up hype. People were like, it's going to be like $50. It's going to be $100. I was like, nah, it'll be like $20. I didn't think it was going to be $20, but um, I, I didn't think it would be this much either. And it ends up being $45.99. And so for me, that's a crushing defeat for the community. Not, not in which case, like, if this came out, like, in October of last year, it wouldn't have been that bad because the game was, the game was, everybody was having fun. We were playing, we were doing a Halloween event. We were like, I mean, we were bitching about a Halloween boss, but I mean, it was still exciting. It was news about the game. Everybody was having fun, you know, doing the event, but things have not gone well for most players in the game. Uh, and then I, this is not the time to drop something so ordinary, right? This, I thought this was going to be special. I thought it was going to be a gift to the community. I thought, here we go. Valentine's day one gifting. Two, every, I, I thought the company and, and, and Gumi and, and Square Enix knew that, that, the, that the players were kind of not feeling great. They were, they were feeling taken advantage of. They were not feeling happy. They weren't feeling excited. I was like, but this is going to bring us back, and it doesn't. This is not the most value. I would rate this. I, I wish this was like $30 to $35. I know it's only a $10 difference, but $10 is $10, right? And it's more or less like I, I just wish they would have given us something. Why can't they just give us something to be happy about? Why can't they, you know, all those bugs that happened in the game, all, all those corrections, all those different things that happened, those bad things that happened. For everybody who keeps supporting the game, for everybody who's spending money, for everybody who's just, I, you know, this game is great. It's going gonna, it's gonna to rebound. Why couldn't they have given us a gift? And that, that's what bothers me the most. Okay, so let's talk about the 10 plus 1 cash summon. Why it's worth it or not worth it. So the first thing I want to say is I will never tell you how to spend your money. Uh, as far as like if you pull on this banner, I'm going to high five you and be like, please pull that unit you want. 
Because remember, guys, there's like 40-some five-stars, and this is... I, another thing about this is if it was going to be $45.99, I wish it was some kind of choice banner, or it could be like, you're getting a five-star you don't have. I don't know how programming would work with that, but that would have been sick, right, guys? That would have been made it worth it. Um, but it's not special at all. It is just a $45.99 pool of five-star. Who, who knows who you're going to get? Um, also, th this cuts out a huge portion of the player base. Anybody who doesn't have this money or doesn't believe in spending this much money on a, on a gotcha game is out. Anybody who doesn't spend money is out. Now, I, I believe firmly that if, you, if you've you spent over like 60 hours in this game and you think uh, you're better than everybody else because you don't spend money in this game, there's something wrong with you because you would still spend that amount of money, uh, you know, on like Kingdom Hearts 3, which is going to be amazing, right? But you spent a lot of hours in this game, so I, I feel like that kind of thinking is uh, is not good. But this type of banner is aimed at new players. This type of banner is aimed at new players or people who, um, in my opinion, I don't know how to put it. New players are people who, um, I don't know what their marketing was. I guess new p players get into the game. Because it's pretty good value if you don't have any five stars, right? You pretty much want any on one of them. Like, people like to shit on Delita, but Delita can do, like, a huge break. And that's pretty good. And then Lightning has dual wield. So, I, I mean, it's it's not the best in the world, but it's not the worst in the world either. And people like to reroll and stuff like that. But overall, a five star guaranteed. Like, when you pull, like, a five uh, a 5K 10 plus one pool, right? I think you have a 1% chance to pull the banner unit. Uh, you know, even if it's just one banner unit, uh, and it goes to 0.5% if it's a, another one, and that's not without guaranteed rainbow, obviously. Um, but that is like $33 uh, USD to get that much lapis. Um, if you were to spend like 50 bucks, I think you get like 9k lapis, but then you also get the, um, I think it's like 50 EX summon points or uh, points or whatever, or 55, so you get that extra added value on top of the fact that you're building towards a 5-star guarantee EX ticket at 200. So if you are going to continue to spend slowly but surely, you're just going to get this anyway through the EX summon ticket, because this is a one-time buy, right? So your one-time buy would be that EX summon ticket too. I think a lot of people are not thinking about the EX summon ticket. Another thing I think a lot of people aren't thinking of is that if you buy the Lapis directly, you can target 4-star and 3-star uh, units you want. With this, you are not targeting anything. You are just, uh, it's, a, it's a flash in the pan. Um, however, again, I, I do not, hey, if you pull and you're happy and I'm happy, we're having fun, that's your money. You spend it how you want. Uh, you are not part of the problem. I hate people to say you're part of the problem if you pull in this banner. Um, you are not part of the problem. You, you are supporting a game that you love and you are having fun and you are doing what you want to do and that's fine. And just because you don't think that this money should be spent this way doesn't mean you should shit on others for doing it. That is ridiculous to me, and please don't do that. Don't tear the community apart. We should be building it up in, in, in an effort to make the game better. So that's, a first, that's another thing I want to say. I am not pulling on the banner. Uh, I went over on this on stream. If you guys want to watch my past broadcast, it's on Twitch. I literally sat there hurting my brain, racking it. You know, as a streamer, is this worth it? As a free-to-play, as a... As a player, like, how should I feel about this? Because I always want to give you guys my honest, most pure, most help you the best I can. But th this is not in my control. I don't know how many five stars you guys have. I don't know how you value $45.99. I know a lot of you guys out there value it huge. I mean, that's a Monster Hunter World. That's a Dragon Ball Fighters. That's a uh, City NC. You know, it's all these new games that came out. Even uh, Secret of Mana, the remake, just came out. You know, that, that's a full game you could play for hours. Whereas some people, that five-star guaranteed is going to give them hundreds of hours. They're going to keep using it in the game. They're going to keep playing it. So it's it's very hard to say. Um, but overall, yeah, uh, this video is going to go a little bit longer than I probably should. Because, again, I'm expressing my opinion. I love this game. I, I'm hyped. There's got to be something coming soon. Give me those three-star extras. Give me those step-up banners. Give me those... I don't know anything new. Multiplayer. I mean, if it came, ooh, who's excited about that? But I am not pulling on this. I finally decided... The community as a whole think that, thinks that it's a uh, it's a bad purchase. If I was not a streamer and I was at my place in my account where I am now, I would definitely not pull on it. I would pull on it as a streamer to give you guys entertainment, to see, let you guys get excited, see the five-star pull. Because I know a lot of you out there can't be pulling on this stuff, so watching me does help you. It makes you happy. You guys are, oh, look at Click. Oh, no, he got a, what, a lightning. Oh, he sucks. And it's like, yeah, it's all in good fun. Um, but overall, Gumi, if you're watching this video, Square Enix, if you're watching this video, um... Please, guys, please listen to me when I say this. I love you guys. I've loved Square Enix since the day I was square soft. You know what I mean? We're growing up in the, through the ages. Um, so I do not mean any disrespect by this, but your game, FFBE, needs something to make the player morale go up, okay? Listen to me when I say this. I, I, I do not say this lightly. I do not say this. And I'm sorry, guys, that I'm kind of trying to talk to Gumi and Square Enix directly here if they do watch my videos. Please help us. Like, like, you know, like when, when, when I'm a little bit upset about this stuff, like remember, remember the Halloween thing, guys, 
there's something wrong, okay? And, and, and please know that I'm just thinking of the best interest in the game and the best interest in your best interest and the player's best interest at the same time. Um, guys, if you pull this banner, best of luck to you. Um, and if you don't, you know, hey, maybe we'll get another great banner coming out here soon. So, guys, that's the best I can say about this. The less five star uh, five stars you have, probably uh, the more chance it, it, this is better for you. I'm kind of on repeat here, but, uh, you know, hopefully Final Fantasy IX comes around the corner because that's a pretty sick banner. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below how you feel on this. And um, if you guys pulled on it, let me know what you pulled. And I hope, to, I hope you the best of luck, guys. I really do. And subscribe for future content. Also, I'm not quitting FFB, FFBE. I, people think that that's not even close to what's happening here behind the scenes and stuff like that. So I'll catch you guys in the next video.